Hello and welcome back to Mafia Definitive Edition. When we last left off, we, uh, but, but, but I just finished the ordinary routine. Let's get into the next one. 1938. So that's how a regular palooka goes from cabbie to mob enforcer overnight, is it? Just dumb luck. It didn't feel that way at the time. Me parking on that particular street, taking a break just when Polly and Sam are coming around the corner. What are the ads? It felt like, I don't know, like someone was watching out for us. <laughs> Whatever helps you sleep at night, pal, but it's a lucky break all the same. I mean, one day you're busting your back, doing an honest day's work in a city that's been trying to scrape you off its heels since the day you stepped off the boat, and the next you're stuffing your pockets full of Salieri's dirty money and lording it over the rest of us. Yeah, it wasn't like that. Back then, Salieri didn't have the run of the city. For every buck Salieri made, Don Morello would turn ten. He paid off cops, politicians, judges, and anyone he couldn't buy. He scared into looking the other way. He did seem to have the city jumping in its own shadow, I'll give you that. You hear anything about Joey Crackers? Yeah, got his name in the Morello file, sure. Boxer, right? Yeah. That's the guy. We are here at... Joey was just driving to the gym one morning. Probably daydreaming about one of the belt or something. God damn it! Moron! You're driving with your goddamn eyes closed! Look at this! Jesus, Mary, Joseph, dumb. Tom Morello, I didn't know it was you. You know anybody else driving a rare import in this part of town, Joey? No. Well, then, uh, I'm sorry, I, uh, I was driving real slow. You're saying this is my fault? No, 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 sir. Like, I just, I just, I, I ain't never been in no accident. Well, repairs are gonna be expensive. Oh, you, you're not gonna need that, sir. The tires are just fine. It's, Grills look bent up is all. I mean, I got a cousin again. Uh, someone spun your tail, pal. You got an informant right there says Marilla made a mint every time Crackers went to the mat. That's true, too. And still, Marilla left that poor sap dead in the street. Head all caved in. I don't square. Well, maybe the Don knew Joey's career was on the downhill. Maybe he was trying to scare some other guy into paying off. Who knows? Don Salieri chalked it up to Morello not being able to think straight when he was mad. You, uh... Huh. Have any more run-ins with Morello's crew back then? Not at first. For a couple of years after I joined up, things were quiet. We got into a few dust-ups with guys trying to muscle in, but elsewise it was just the usual routine. We were running booze, offering protection, me and the boys doing rounds to collect small time. But I ain't gonna lie. Most days, we was also having a bit of fun. Tommy, thanks for getting down here so quickly. Yeah, sure thing, boss. What do you need? You know, there's a race coming up. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Polly and Sam have some money on uh, the local. Mikey Dunn. That's the guy. He's a good kid, but a bit of a scrapper. Not too smart with his money. A few years ago, Mikey comes to me asking for a loan. He wants to get new tires so he can keep racing junkers out at the quarry. <laughs> I like fast cars. I figured it'll be a bit of a hobby. Turns out, <laughs> Mikey's a great investment. The kid can't lose a race if he walks the track. He graduates from the junkers to gal jobs, and I start placing a few bets on him here and there. Next thing I know, I've made all my money back and more. Hey, uh, Sam says he's the guy to beat. He was. We ran all the competition out of town. But now Ralph says there's a hotshot European entering the race, and he's got a car faster than our boys by a country mile. 
How much do we stand to lose? A truckload. But not just our outfit. A lot of guys from the neighborhood come to me for financial advice. They've all put money down on this kid. It'll be like Black Thursday around here if he loses. Well, for everyone except Morello. Oh, you think he's from the European? Oh, I'm certain of it. You want something to happen to the driver? Can't find him. Morello's got him holed up somewhere safe. Besides, if he drops out or disappears now, none of our wagers will stay. Everyone will cry foul, say the race is fixed. What about his car? That's the ticket, Tommy. Ralph knows a guard at the track. You go down there tonight, you boost the European's car, bring it to one of our mechanics, and make a few adjustments, you bring the car back. Should be no problem, boss. Sarah, can I get a drink here? And I actually want to fix something real quick, but you guys remember last time when, uh... I told you guys that, uh, there was one mission where, uh... As soon as you're ready. You, uh... Your pop uh, you out for the race? Have enough driving time for your entire life? Well, this is it. And I don't know why my resolution dropped back down, but... Hey, How you doing, Luigi? So that's a five, a six, uh, along with what's already behind the bar. And, uh, Hi, Ralphie. Hey, Titi Tommy. Big day coming up, right? right? You, you, you seen the race before? Uh, kind of hard to miss. Celieri isn't going to let Morello break his winning streak, huh? No, no, sir. Got to send him up a message. So, tonight, we will borrow his guy's motor from the track. My friend Bobby is a guard for a little dough. He'll show you where it is and look someplace else while you t -t -t turn the key. I like Bobby already. Sh sure. Then in there is this other guy, Lil Lucas Bertone. You take the car to him down under the Ju Ju Giuliano Bridge. He'll, you know, tune it a little. Make the race tomorrow more, more, more interesting. And then I take the car straight back and Bobby can stop looking someplace else. Oh, but you gotta be quick. B -b Bobby comes off shift at 1.30 and then the next guy He's an ass. Oh, hey, hey, if you need somewhere to keep your motors safe where no one can take them, feel free to use the garage. Carlo finally got around to clearing it out. Thanks, good to know. All right, so here's our garage. And I wonder, do we have, we do have Lincoln's uh, car from Mafia 3. We also have, uh, I'm a Vito's signature car from Mafia 2. I right, look at that. Let's take Skeletta's car out for a little drive. So. Uh, this is the car from Mafia 2. It's Vito Scaletta's signature car. And uh, the other one was Lincoln Clay's Mafia 3. You Bobby? Yep. We can take your car to the garage. Place is empty. Any friend of Ralphie's a friend of mine. I mean, if you got the money, sure. <sighs> Tomorrow morning, they start coming whole city they smuggle in hooch there's fighting i hate it i, I don't i don't out. know about driving a better place to pick up a thing this, this car this in weekend. this game don't get me started <sighs> things i've seen since it's way faster than the cars of the time so we're not really going to use either vetoes or, or lincoln's very often because, okay. like I said, they're way too fast for the time, so you can outrun anything in these, since everyone's got those old hunkers. Except for this car. Open it up, Bobby. This Here car is. is a pain in the ass. 1929 Carazella C-Series. Best oh. in class. It's a shame you gotta wreck it. If they see this down the road, cops are gonna ask questions. When they catch up, sure. Try to keep it one piece too, huh? Yeah. So, I gotta be back from Berton by 1.30 before the next guy's shift. Yeah, he's an ass. 
I heard. All right. <clears throat> oh, I hate this car so much. It's way too fucking fast. Like, look at this shit. For the time period, we're already up to 60. And this car is easy to wreck. Which is also why we took vetoes for a little spin. Let's put time limiter on because even then, time limiter is gonna be really good. Yeah, but this car handles shit. At least in the original, it handled like shit. Here, it's handling pretty okay. But I'm also not having my finger down to the floor. I'm, if you can hear the engine, I'm just barely holding it and then tapping. Alright, alright, let's slow down. Slow down. We got two minutes. Police is on the left. And don't let this mission fool you. We all know I'm a very shitty driver in games. Just trying to really concentrate. Because back in when I originally played this, oh, this mission took me forever. Look at that. We already pushing a hundred. Now let's slow it down, slow it down. Alright, let's get out of here, cop. Officers reporting a race car driving at speed through the city. Anyone else see this? <laughs> Alright, now we can't be careful. We got cops on us. But we still have to be careful. All right, there we are. You're here. He's gone. Tommy Angelo. Lucas Bertoni. All right. Oh, ain't she a thing of beauty? We don't have much time. Hey, I'm a fast worker. Sit tight. Yeah, I know this part is actually you. harder because you can't get up to speed. <laughs> <coughs> so. And we have a time moment still. Okay, she's done. Thanks, Lucas. I gotta get back before anyone catches on. Go easy with her. She's gonna misbehave. Hey, yeah. Tell Mr. <sighs> Salier, I'm always available for this kind of work. I do stuff for a lot of people, but I always know where I stand with you guys. Hot cars, getaways. Anything for the right price. Let's just hope Celieri's guy wins tomorrow. For all our sakes. Okay. Drive careful. All right, here we are. One of the shittiest missions in the game. No one likes this mission. We got four minutes, and we can't let the engine get hot. Which means we can't really attract police attention. Because we can't outrun the police. Our little engine timer there. And the faster we go, the more hot it gets. But we also have a time limit. So let's see what happens when we turn it off. See that engine climbing? If it gets all the way up, our car is total. But we can go a little bit faster. If we just if we just tap it and we keep it right below 60 ish and then drop it down when we turn we're gonna have to blare right through this so the cops don't see and then drop it right back down all right so far, so good. We should be able to make it back in 340s. All 
Alright, let's speed up just a little bit to get ahead. And then drop it right back down. Take my hand off a little bit. Alright, um... Here goes another... Keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going. No, 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 no. Gotta, 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 gotta. Alright, alright. Alright, get this down. Pop that back on. Come on, I need to make this... Don't crash it. If you crash it, the mission's over. Yeah, we're taking... A detour. Yeah, I know. We need to turn around. Alright. Now we're gonna turn here. Because we were supposed to take that turn. I don't know why my GPS messed up. But we can't crash. Because if you crash it, the mission starts over. If you uh, I go up to the engine overheat, the mission starts over. We are almost here. We got 220. We're going to make it as long as nothing goes wrong. We should be just fine. Even at this speed, but we're going to speed up just a little bit because this car is fa faster. And we just want to start tapping our engine right around this mark. And now we'll just barely have our finger on the button. Lock it right back in place like this. And our time's off. Make the turn perfectly. Just don't floor it. Then barely put your finger on the gas. I see Vito's car right there, which means we're good. And just let it coast in. Break it. Bring it right in the body oh, shop. Thank Christ. Good to go. All right. Drives like a jalopy. Okay, let's get out of here. Big day tomorrow. Okay, now that was only the first part of the shitty mission. This is the second part of the shitty mission. <laughs> so let's mute and watch the beauty. So Sam walks out of the bathroom. And I'm praying he's got a piece on him, because I'm not sure the bartender's going to hand over what he owes. And his two sons, they're inching closer. I can hear them cracking their knuckles. They're both seven feet tall, built like brick shit houses. What were you carrying? My dick. <laughs> That's right. This crazy bastard, he waltzes out of the bathroom to start pissing all over the joint. <laughs> really? What, he didn't call the cops? Ah, sometimes you just got to make them think you're crazy. <laughs> Tom, you got the moments. Oh. Jeffrey, you've got a bit of a situation. Is the boss okay? Oh, yeah, it's nothing like that. Mikey Dunn, our driver. Some of Morello's guys roughed him up pretty good last night. Broke his arm, broke his jaw, sent him to the hospital. <sighs> Jesus. Yeah, tough locker for Mikey. Anyway, you're going to race for him. Wait, what? Frank, Tom, I don't... there's a half hour before the starting gun goes off, so this is not a discussion. The Don wants to win, but more importantly, he wants Morello to lose. And you are our best wheelman. Otherwise, I'd be talking to someone else. Yeah. Okay, Frank. Good. Rafi has the car gassed and ready. Get to the track right away. Welcome to hell, because this is the worst From Europe, we got the hot shot favorite, Martin Lichtenberg, taking some time out of the International Series to compete with us today. Got some news from the grid here, Lost Heaven local favorite, Mikey Dunn, is out. Replacing him is, uh, Tommy Angelo. Well, I'm sure you'll all join me in wishing him good luck. They're lined up on the grid, they're ready to start. Right. They're off. 
Lichtenberg's in trouble. There's something up with this car. Yeah, we don't have to worry about his car. Lichtenberg is out. The favorite is out. Oh, shit. Who's Son of a bitch. The Lost Heaven Circuit's famous first turn. They're bunching up oh. and I see some collisions. Some of these drivers mean business. There's more than paperwork getting scraped in their right. day. Some rough racing out there. Hopefully nothing serious. Alright. Just gotta focus. We're in 12. Keep kidding me. Bruh. Are these the final podium places or is it someone else's time to shine? You see, I what saw. makes this one easier is because some of the racers get taken out. Taylor, Anderson, Angelo, all still in the... Yeah. Still left to go. All right, we're pushing up on first now, guys. The new driver, Tommy, in the front with Tommy Angelo takes the lead. There we go. Just gotta keep up. And on your turns, just I'm gonna take your foot off the gas. Add a, a little a breakage. Today, folks. The driving's been incredible. And you want to just like alternate between your the gas and brake. And uh, the best part about this version is. Alright. Here comes the turn. Alright, here comes the turn. So I think I'm going to drop it. Drop it, but not too much. Come on, we gotta get back on the road. As long as we get on the road, we're good. With Lichtenberg no longer in the front three are jostling for position. Come on. Just alternate between gas and brake on the turn. Angelo there, back in the lead position. Can he hold on? Start towards the bottom, that way he got room to go. Angelo is still out in front. Can have another he one. On? We're not gonna make it, we're not gonna make it, we're not gonna make it. Come on, come on. Come on, Tommy, get back on the road, get back on the road. Oh. Just pick it up, pick it up. Take your hand off. There we go. To catch the leading driver, Tommy Angelo. Alright. Alternate. Let's keep going. Off gas, hit the brake. Accelerate. Off gas, hit the brake. Accelerate. Unpersoned personal with the back leaders. This race is far from over. Off the gas, hit the brake. And just like that, we're right in the line. We're good to go. We've got an okay lead. Not much. He's coming up fast. We're going 120, we do not want to be going 120, so take, just coast it, coast it, coast it, coast it, if they pass, let them pass, and just kind of make sure you don't get in the sand, because everyone has to slow down. Mikey Dunn, this guy is a fine replacement. Coast, 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 alright, we got a pretty solid lead as long as we keep it. Off the gas, hit the brake. Some drivers really starting just, to stretch out ahead now. Just alternate it. We got a decent lead. Off the gas, hit the brake. Alternate. There we are. Still got a decent lead. Up here comes another Tommy turn. Angelo's in first, but will he stay Off the there? gas. Come on, come on, come on, Tommy, Tommy, Tommy. Come on, Tommy. Get back on the road. Okay, we still got an okay lead. Stay on the road, Tommy. All right, off the gas, just coast. And there we are. We have one more turn. Just tap it, tap it, tap it, tap it. There we are. Off the gas, hit the brake, turn the tap. Same thing. And here we are. We have a very decent lead. Off the gas, and I, and I you just want to hit the brake and then tap your acceleration. 
There we are. Now, just to let it go wide out. No one's catching up. And we just won first try. Now, though, granted, this version is a lot easier than the original because the car handling was bullshit. And now, uh, it was like a simulation of the time. But anyway, let's mute. Watch the cutscene. Tommy! There's <laughs> our winner! Hey, Tom. Just want to thank you for stepping in like you did. I had six months rent riding on that race. I'd be homeless now if not for you. I just did what the Don asked, Lucas. Well, you gotta let me find a way to repay you. Just stop by my garage when we get a chance. I might have a line on something that'll turn a buck for you. Sure. Thanks. I knew you wouldn't let us down, Tom. You made us all a lot of money today. And Morel's gonna be picking up pennies off the sidewalk for weeks. <laughs> hey, what about the European? He's probably wearing cement boots by now, the poor bastard. <sighs> Here. You earned every dollar of this. Take your girl out somewhere nice. Thanks, boss. You got a girl, right? I don't want you blowing all that on booze and horse. Nah, but uh, maybe I'll buy my ma a new coat. <laughs> Good boy. Go get yourself a drink. Congratulations, big hero. Nah, I just got lucky, so. Well, I had my money on the other guys, so... Drinks are on you. Oh. <laughs> there. Now you're ready for the pictures. Thanks. And hey, when you're done celebrating, you might want to go find your buddy, Polly. He's so drunk, he's gonna get hit by a parked car. Yeah, okay. I'll get him home safe. Alright, let's go mingle, then talk to Polly. Let's start by talking with uh, Luigi's Polly daughter. Polly and the rest of your pals have drunk through half my bar already. You found him yet? Nope. That's all for another year, folks. Alright, let's go talk to you, Vinny. Please leave when requested. Talking to Vinny. You're a natural wheel, man, Tom. You seen Polly anywhere, Vinny? He said he was gonna go eat to soak up the boots. But I never seen cannolis come that big. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Let's talk to Ralphie. Our good buddy mechanic, Ralphie. Your mama made that look easy to the Tommy. When they just started racing here 20 years ago, most guys did, did, didn't even make the finish. Ah, magic's in the motor, Ralph. I just showed him where to go. Hey, you seen Polly? No, no. He said he was uh, uh, hungry or something. Okay. Well, you enjoy yourself. She should show sure will, Tom. Thanks. All right. Over there, Sam. We got our buddy Frank here. That win just put my daughter through another year at school, Tom. Hey, anything for the Kalettis. Well, enjoy the moment. But the deal with Polly before he embarrasses himself and the family. I will not let the boss's day end this summerly. You don't have to worry, Frank. I'll find him. All right. I'm trying to see who's over there. All right, anyway. I see what looks like Sam and I've been asked by the LHPD to I can't make all that guy out right now. Oh, it's Sam mechanic. Is strictly prohibited. All right. Will be made. I do know Thanks. Polly's down there, so we're gonna go this talk your first to time at the track? Last year I heard this the guy. motors from my apartment, but that's as close as I've gotten before. Plus that's the giant clear us out. How'd you drive that? after the <laughs> tuna? Tried to go sideline at a five brick walls, but we made it. You seen Polly any place? I came by five minutes ago, maybe. Look like it had a smell from the barrel. Sounds about right. Thanks, Lucas. What's over here? Ooh, a detective magazine. We'll probably not open those up because I know what most of them are, and <laughs> I'd rather not get a uh, great bad. race champ. Hey. Last time I saw you drive like that, Tom, I had a gun to your head. You saying there wasn't one today? <laughs> when our side of town is drowning in dough, 
That means you're safe. Hey, who seen Polly? Guy's soused. Came through walking sideways. Yeah, I heard it. Alright. Let's go get Polly. He's over here. I don't exactly remember where Polly is over here, but he's over here. I'd ask again that people please leave when requested and refrain from imbibing illicit substances. Let's not make it like last year, folks. Yeah, folks. Alright. Hey, hey, hello, friend. You see Polly? Oh, thank Christ you're here. If your friend keeps this up, the there other guy's gonna send the cops over. Yeah, I think Polly's big day the track's over. Hi, Polly. What does the bird say? I don't know, but the security guy back there says you gotta go home. That's an asshole. You should show some respect. Well, that's true, but I'm saying you gotta go home too before you resurface the pit lane. Well, okay then. I guess. Let's go, Jim. Here's the thing, though, like, like, as as far as we know, Tommy here is not a, a made guy, but Apollo here is, so I don't know if he could get away with uh, talking to him like that, I mean, they're good friends, so I guess that would help, but, you know. He did real good today, Tommy, with the, the driving. I mean, I, I guess right. it's different I if, was uh... right when I found you. You know what I said? What did you say, Polly? I said, this guy can drive. <laughs> it's not Salieri. This is a guy who can drive. And here we are. Here we are. But, like, I right guess... it's here. I, I guess... Here we are. Polly, shut up. You put me to shame, Tom. <laughs> Look at you. Now you're even a... Some kind of race car driver. We well, all got our. You doing real good since you joined the family, but you know you got it easy, right? <laughs> Me and Sam, we keep the real stuff from you. That right, huh? You don't know what it's like. You get the call to see the dawn and your mind's racing. Done some bad shit, Tom. We're all in this together. I do what the dawn asks when he asks it. Just like you. You're like me, you can't just shut it down, blank it out like Sam does. Go home to <laughs> whoever the hell he goes home to. Hey, Polly, you're drunk. You're gonna have to clam up for your own sakes. Yeah, you're right. You're right. Don't you cut me off. Don't you? Tom, I wanna go with the lady. Uh, I'm not helping you with that today. Take me to the ladies! Take me to the blue tropics. I don't know, I ought to take you home. The bridge! Take the bridge over to the island! Take me to the ladies! <laughs> I, sweet I don't know, I, taking you home seems more classy. Alright, now we're talking. Oh boy. You should see these dames, Tom. I'll leave it to you to swim at the Barracudas, Polly. You're gonna have to tell me where the hell I'm driving. You don't know? I don't know. It's, there's a blue sign. Gonna need more than that. There's a blue sign and it says Blue Tropics and it's right near the docks. <sighs> Figures. Check a map or something. Ah, uh, Polly, we're gonna take you home. Uh, home? Put me home. Yeah. Maybe. Maybe not. Yeah. A good idea. Yeah, well, okay, I'm gonna... Sweet dreams, tough guy. Uh, I'm gonna... Y y yeah, I, I don't feel so good. I forgot what I was saying. Oh, yeah, uh, how it, um, it might be different since they're friends and whatnot, but... 
I don't know. But uh, anyway, I just want to say thank you guys for watching, and we will do the next chapter next time. Have a wonderful day.